Hi, my name is Dalia Prashnikar and this is Coderate session about optimizing layout hierarchies in FireMonkey. Here I'll explain how you can speed up layouts construction and improve painting performance. Delphi Visual Designer is a great tool for fast and easy drag and drop prototyping. With only few clicks of the mouse and setting a few properties, you can create both simple and complex layouts with ease. On the downside, complex layouts tend to contain more controls than necessary. Too many controls and performance will suffer. TFMX object is a base class for FireMonkey components. It is rather heavyweight class with several lazily initialized lists on top of the component ones. Because of that, complex layouts with many controls need substantial amount of time for construction, alignment and painting. Performance penalties can be significant on less powerful mobile devices. Possible optimizations include simplifying layout designs, optimizing images for screen size and density, avoiding unnecessary effects like shadows and gradients, implementing lazy loading, and last but not the least, optimizing layout structures without changing visual appearance of the layout. When having one control too many creates a problem, first and most obvious optimization step is reducing number of controls. Adding children triggers construction of children containers and controls with children will need more time to construct, realign and paint. By flattening the structure, making the layout structure shallow and wide rather than narrow and deep, we can both reduce the number of controls and number of controls with children in one go. Removing alignment layouts used for automatic alignment is the fastest and simplest solution for flattening the structure and improving performance. Another option for reducing number of controls is creating custom painted controls where several controls will be combined into one. Comparing to flat layouts, deep layouts will generally contain more controls and more controls will have children. Deep layout in this example has structure three levels deep and several alignment layouts with smaller number of children. While having same visual appearance as the previous layout example, this flattened layout is only one level deep and it only has one control with children. On the other hand, deep layout has three levels and four controls with children. This flat layout will be constructed and painted faster, but it will also require some code for manual alignment since we have removed alignment layouts that would perform automatic alignment after size changes. You win some, you lose some. Creating custom controls where more basic controls are combined into one can also improve performance. For instance, grid layout with status dots is a good candidate for custom control. As a result, six controls will be replaced with one. Such approach not only reduces total amount of controls, but also removes redundant calculations and improves painting speed. Optimizing takes time. Make sure you have identified bottlenecks before optimizing. There is no point in optimizing parts that already perform well. You should also test layouts on low-level devices. If it works good on low-end device, it will work great on high-end too. The other way around? Probably not. Dynamic views where more data means more controls can be problematic. Stress testing such layouts can be of utmost importance. You don't want your application to perform poorly in real-life scenarios. You need to verify performance before and after all optimizations are in place. Theory is one thing, practice another. Unexpected things can happen if you don't pay attention. That's all. Thank you for watching. For more Delphi tips and tricks, visit my blog.